Did you know that you can actually share Power BI reports to external users without a premium license? That is true. So I'm going to tell you all about it in just a second. So hello and welcome back. My name is Ruth Solo from Curva.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can actually share Power BI reports with external users without costing you a dime. Okay, so this is what we want to do. We want to share the report that you see on the screen with an external users. And I was discussing with a customer and he told me, oh, I don't have a Power BI license, premium license to be able to share with my customers. And I asked, you don't need one. So I thought I need to make a video about this. Here's the thing. These are the rules for sharing content. The first thing that you need to do is if you go to Power BI admin settings, if you don't have access to this, you have to ask your admin. And there are two settings here. You have share content with external users. You have to turn this on, okay? And that will allow you to have guests in the Power BI tenant. I'll talk about more in a second about that. And then there is a second setting that allows external guest users to edit and manage content. This is in case you want to have maybe a consultant to manage your Power BI tenant because you don't want to do it yourself for whatever the reason these will give them access. Or if you want them to create stuff for you without having to create an email address for them, okay? So you don't need to have both. You do need to have these though, share content with external users. So there are two ways you can invite people into Power BI to view reports, dashboards, workspaces and stuff. The first one is you have as they call it, planned. And planned basically means that somebody, some admin in Azure has gone to the Azure Active Directory and added the user as a guest. And if they've done that, then you will be able to see them in a drop down as you can see internal users too. And then you can just, for example, if we want to share this report, you can just go to share. Now this is for a report if you would like to have it for an app, for example, you would go here to update an app exactly the same way. And here you will add the external user, right? And it will appear and it will have access to whatever you give access to, right? Now, the second way is that you just go here and you give access directly to that specific user. So you don't have to go to Azure at all. Wait, wait a second, don't, don't go screaming yet. There are a few things. If we, you, we go here to the share content with external user, here you have the possibility to limit who can give access to external users in Power BI. And in Azure, you have the possibility also to limit which users can actually add guest users in your Azure tenant. So don't worry, it's not like everybody will be able to add users everywhere and share everything. Mm -mm -mm. You can restrict it as much as you like. But once you know that if you give your admin, Power BI admin, for example, users if access to the invite guest, they will be able to add users into any report dashboard for workspaces, you need to give them access to these allowed external guest users. Otherwise, they won't have access to the workspace, but they will have access to the app, to the reports, and to the dashboard. Okay. Now, licensing. What's that about? There are three licenses options for external users. The option number one is premium. If you have a premium capacity, the guest user don't need a license at all. So it would be a free user, basically. The second one is that you as an organization buy a Power BI license for that external user. You can do that. Or the third one is that the guest user already has in his or her organization a Power BI license and it will use that to access your content, which is super, super cool. So those are basically the three rules for licensing. And it is as easy as that. As soon as you have somebody trusted in your organization, they can just add the email to that user and then they will be able to see the reports. Now, one thing is that the guest users won't be able to navigate your Power BI tenant. So they need to keep the link that it gets sent to them. Okay. It's very, very important. And I want to name this, mention this. If you add a user here without adding them in Azure first, what happens here is that 
they will get an email and they will have to log in and they will be added as a guest on Azure AD. So you can still go to Azure AD and you will see any guest user that you have and you can you know, remove them from there. You don't need to administrate on where is my guest, where are my guest users and which report dashboard. You kill them in Azure and then they will disappear here in Power BI. Last but not least, let's say that your guest user leaves the organization that you gave him access to. What happens? Well, probably that organization will remove the email address for that specific person, which means that the email address will not be valid anymore and that person won't be able to use uh, the email address to access your content. So they will be managing the access for you in your organization, which is quite neat actually. So it's a very, very nice implementation. So you can start sharing. It won't cost anything if that specific user already has a Power BI license or you have a premium license. Otherwise you can just buy them a Power BI Pro and you will be able to share.